This episode of Texella is sponsored by 23andMe. Lindsay, aka LNZ, writes in, hello Techzilla crew, I want to have some kind of solar charger to charge devices such as an iPad, iPhone, AA batteries and D batteries specifically, if possible, also my MacBook Pro. It's mainly for my bug out bag, but I would also use it for camping. I live in sunny Southern California where there is lots of heat and sunshine. <laughs> Could you recommend a few devices or setups that you would recommend or approve for under the $200 price range? I appreciate the advice. Tech Love LNZ, signed LNZ. Oh, so, <laughs> in case you're not familiar with the idea of a bug out bag, um, so bug out bag is like everything you need in a bag for 72 hours, right? To keep yourself body and soul together for 72 hours. You're trying to get home or get to shelter after an earthquake, a tornado, a flood, a fire, locusts, plague zombies, <laughs> or riots. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, let's see that again. <laughs> Plague, zombies, riots! I am more for the riots part, but exactly. zombies, I hope they're zombies. I, I really been, do. Yeah, I haven't been through plague them. and zombies, but I've, I've, I've dealt plague. with most of the rest of the things on that list. I grew up on a farm. I've had every plague there is. <laughs> it's an interesting mental image. <laughs> you're not going to be, here's the thing, though. you're probably not going to be carrying around a big enough solar panel to charge your MacBook Pro, even in sunny, 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 sunny Southern California. What did he so say? SoCal. There are products that'll claim they'll do it. Um, there are also products that'll claim if I paint my skull brown, it'll look like I have <laughs> hair. No, no it's, it's true though. What I'm saying is some, some products claim things they don't actually do. And there is a big honking battery in your MacBook, and it, or excuse me, your MacBook Pro, and it takes a while to charge. That said, there is a great solar charger for phones and tablets. It's not particularly light, it weighs about a pound and a half. It's probably as, almost as big as your tablet. It costs 120 to 150 bucks, and it pass, packs a, a fairly modest 5400 milliamp hour battery. But this critter right here, it's called the Solar Juice Orange. It delivers. Alexander George wrote it up for the wire cutter. Quote, I tried a few panels from Brunt and Solio and Goal Zero in the same price range, and the juice bested them all. Why? Because, you know, to, to quote our, 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 our vice president of programming, it does what it says on the tin, oh. right? It, it charges. That sounds ridiculous, but... No, I used to think that's, that's I used to think nice to see. Yeah, I used to think a lot of the solar like like I, I I used to think I couldn't test solar products in San Francisco because we had the fog thing. And then I moved to the East Bay and then I realized <laughs> that most solar chargers that they're selling suck, right? If there's a little thing with a little tiny solar panel the size of the back of your your iPhone, it ain't gonna charge your iPhone. No. It may it may charge it in like three days, but by that time you should hopefully be home or near somewhere where the power is back on. Anyhow, 5,400 milliamp hours, that's enough to charge an iPad or charge a phone twice. I would say for a lot of people, especially if you're in a part of the country where they have the winter or do you don't have a lot of the sunshine, uh, is to consider a battery pack. It was a really good deal from uh, the crew over at iFixit.com, the Monster Battery Pack. It's not particularly elegant, right? It's basically a zip bag with a big old fat battery inside of it and a bunch of tips but it's a great price. It's like 70 bucks for 9,000 milliamps. A lot nice. of folks out there ask us about Goal Zero. We've never had a chance to test their gear. The reviews are kind of mixed. People either have a great experience with them or a very mediocre experience with them. You know, I like the way they're, they're thinking about, if you look at it, right, they have their big power packs, right? And they're, let's, do, 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 do. These are really cool. Like the Extreme 350 or the Goal Zero Yeti 400 Solar. It's like oh. a $450, basically it's a car battery with a really cool container around it and a 12 volt socket on it and an inverter, right? So you, you basically have a small car battery and there's your lighter socket for charging, you know, devices you would charge off of a cigarette lighter socket in your car, 120 volt inverter. Here's the thing though, for what they're charging for these, I think I can roll up my own panel and battery and inverter and have a much bigger battery with a much longer battery life. You're I a could crafty be wrong. person. I'm a crafty person. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be like a black plastic <laughs> battery box, you know, with an inverter screwed on top of it. But, you know, if if you're thinking about this, understand like these are cool if they're pre-charged and you don't mind carrying around a bunch of weight, right? Yeah, good point. But if you're in emergency mode, if you're in bug out mode, you need to think about battery conservation on your phone, probably using your phone or your tablet instead of your laptop and having an extra battery and having all of that ready to go in the bag, especially the battery. Your bag should be ready to go and charge so that if all heck breaks loose, you're not going like, where did I leave the battery? Was the battery charged? Did you use the battery, honey? Did anybody charge the battery? Is the battery charged? You want it charged and ready to go and in the bag and the bag is always someplace where you know where it is. The bug out bag. Yeah, I mean, this is also coming from somebody who, A, has way too much in a backpack, including a trauma kit <laughs> and an 18,000 milliamp hour battery, hey, so. You know, I don't have the battery, but I think I have a trauma kit. 
I'm it's good, good to, go. to have a trauma kit. I should go practice with my equipment. Yes, you should. Yes. <laughs> and I should probably take a first aid lesson. Someone bleeding out in front of you is not the time to learn how to use your tourniquet. <laughs> Uh, yes, this is, yes. This, this is true. Let's just end right there <laughs> and take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Have you ever been curious about your genetic background? What about your DNA? I was, and that's why I use 23andMe. 23andMe enables anyone to explore their own DNA, and it's based on a saliva analysis of approximately 1 million data points in your DNA. Customers receive over 200 personalized reports that cover health risks, physical traits, carrier status for conditions that could be passed on to children, and tons more. 23andMe first offered their personal genome service in November 2007 for $999, and it only provided 14 reports. But today, you can get over 200 reports, all for 99 bucks. Isn't the evolution of technology wonderful? It may sound intimidating, but 23andMe makes the whole process really simple. First, you buy a DNA kit online, then you mail it in with your saliva sample, and postage is included. And after a few weeks, you receive over 200 health, trait, and ancestry reports. Heck, I've used it, and I can't recommend it enough. So what are you waiting for? Get started today. Check it out at 23andMe.com to learn more.